Christians are so hateful. Christians are so judgmental. Christians are so proud of themselves. Christians are hypocrites. That's what the world thinks of us. I am a Christian and I am here to prove you wrong. Stay tuned. Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nora and if you haven't come across my channel before, I upload comedy skits, I do a lot of challenges and I do a lot of reviews on products and straight talking videos like this one. My new subscribers, hey how you doing, how you doing? My old subscribers, good to see your faces again. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing stereotypes on Christians. I feel like as a Christian, we get so many stereotypes like people tend to judge us before they know us and i am here to prove them wrong okay the first stereotype that i get all the time and i believe that all christians also get all the time is when people say that christians think that they are perfect and nearly everything that everything that they do no love we're not perfect in everything that we do in fact the Bible says in Romans chapter 3 verse 23 to verse 24 All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, okay? We're not perfect, that's why God sent His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to come and die for us If you read the book of John 3 verse 16, okay, it says everything there This is the one that I actually don't, I can't stand the most Is when people say that Christians only listen to gospel music No we don't only listen to gospel music however uh, the type of music that you listen to does affect you either in a negative or in a positive way when it comes to listening to music there are three factors to consider number one the purpose of the music number two the style of the music and number three the meaning of the lyrics those any types of music that you listen to it, it will eventually become your thoughts and your thoughts becomes the action and from your action that's why they can de determine your future determine who you're going to be because action does, does speak a lot about a person for example if you listen to a music that doesn't even promote anything good it talks about basically negative things the lyrics is just awful how is that, how is that benefiting you as a Christian? <laughs> no we as Christians, we don't only listen to gospel music because there are, there are type of music that are also beneficial for us, not just um, gospel music. The next stereotype that I always get all the time as well is Christians' rules are so strict. No, the rules are not strict. In fact, the Ten Commandments was given to guide and protect us. It's only half of people who don't want to follow it. Besides, without the Ten Commandments, I don't even think we'll be alive today. Listen, we've got a loving Father. When we sin, He punishes us. Just like they've got rules in this world. They've got laws and everything. For example, if you kill someone, you go to jail. That's how the law is with us as well. The Ten Commandments, it says, love your neighbor, obey your parents and stuff like that. So they're not strict. They're only, strict for, they're only strict for people who don't want to follow the rules, okay? And the stereotype is that Christians can't have fun. We, we can't have fun. If you mean the kind of fun like getting drunk, that's not what I call fun, okay? You, you can't be a Christian and have fun, okay? Just in the right way, if you know what I mean. Another stereotype I get all the time is that Christians like to force religion unto other people no we don't like to force religion onto other people the bible says that go forward and preach the gospel of the lord we're only there we we'll, we'll come to you to preach to you about the lord it's up to you to listen another stereotype is that um christians invite non-christians to come to their church to take money off them like no the aim of coming to church and giving your tithe or offering is to enable the work of God to go to go forward. For example, come on, we have to pay the church bills. Some churches use the offering to help the homeless people and also help for like transportation. So don't think that the offering they're giving 
You're not giving it. You're giving it to the church, obviously, to help promote the work of God. So yeah, we're not we're not taking your money away from you. We're only helping God's kingdom to grow. Okay. Next stereotype is that Christians don't drink or swear. To be honest with you on this one, it's pretty much like a debate. Like I said before, we're not perfect. Sometimes when you're angry, you can say things that you you don't mean to, and people are like, okay, I'm guilty, I'm guilty, I'm guilty. When I'm angry, I don't, I have literally no control, but I'm praying for that. Some Christians they do swear. I have sworn, I have sworn. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I have, but I'm not perfect, so don't judge me. The worst stereotype I get all the time is that Christians can't be friends with non-Christians. They can't make friends with people who are not, who don't share the same faith as them, which is not true. Me, I've, I'm a Christian, I've got friends who are Muslims, friends who are atheists. Like, I'm not going to discriminate you against your faith and stuff, no. I'm not perfect, I'm not judgmental. However, the people that you do hang around with will either influence you in a negative or positive way. So if you're a Christian and you hang around someone who is not a Christian or someone who shares, who shares completely all the opposite faith with you, you have to be careful. Because you never know what can happen. You know what I mean? You never know what can happen. For example, if you're a Christian and you have a non-Christian friend, their lifestyle and your lifestyle is completely different. Either the other person is going to influence the other person is one way. So the choice is yours to make. So you just have to be careful. I'm not saying that you keep your distance away from people like that, but you just need to be careful. Another stereotype I don't like is when people say that um, Christian music is so boring. Christian music is not always boring, okay? Because this is some type of Christian music. I love God. You love God. What's wrong with you? I love God. You love God. What's wrong with you? I don't think that I can live no other way. Truth be told, I'm living now on an A. God has seen them blessings in the modern day. The Lord, I serve you, give them to me every day. I'm a giving, I'm a giving. That is just a little bit of taste, okay? Bye right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what if you're a Christian. What type of stereotypes have you come across? And I'll see you on my next video. Oh yeah, by the way, I'll be announcing my 100 subscribers giveaway winner on Tuesday. So if you still haven't entered the competition, what are you waiting for? I love Jesus. He saved me because I was lost. I was lost in this world and he came and saved me. It's the best decision ever.